this week. Johnson & Johnson's vaccine has a slightly lower efficacy rate. That's compared to the current Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. Way 31's Alex Torres-Perez joins us now live from John Hunt Park with why experts believe the rate is lower, but why they still recommend you get the vaccine. Alex. Overall, the newly authorized Johnson & Johnson vaccine is roughly around 60% efficacy rate. That's significantly lower compared to Pfizer and Moderna, which is around 95%. The co-chair of the Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine research says one of the main reasons why that difference is so big is because of COVID variants. These studies were done different times. That's why Dr. Paul Getbert believes there's a major difference when it comes to efficacy data. During the Moderna and Pfizer clinical trials, COVID-19 had not mutated into the variants Johnson & Johnson had to deal with. In the United States, it showed the highest efficacy for symptomatic COVID infection, which was 72 percent. Uh, and the lowest was in South Africa, which is 57 percent. But that's the country that had this uh, sort of infamous uh, strain, which is the one that's partly neutralization resistant to all the vaccines that are uh, currently out there. The single shot could also be a reason behind the lower efficacy rate, but Dr. Getford says when comparing the data dose per dose, the J&J &J vaccine works just as well as Moderna's and Pfizer's. He asked people not to wait to get vaccinated. I mean, this vaccine is going to, uh, along with Pfizer and Moderna, is going to save, um, I don't know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of, of lives. Right now, Johnson & Johnson is finishing up enrollment on a second clinical trial that's looking at the efficacy rate of two shots instead of one. If that rate is better, the company will likely recommend a booster shot. Reporting live in Huntsville, Alex Torres-Perez, Wait 31 News. All right, thanks, Alex. With Johnson & Johnson's emergency use authorization.